Welcome to CyberDestek. CyberDestek is one point solution for all your remote IT requirements. We provide remote IT services and support for IT health checks, disaster recovery, cloud and virtualization, automation, network infrastructure with security and much more. Contact us at info at cyberdestek.com. Hello friends and welcome back to yet another tutorial of FortiGate Firewall series. So friends in this video we are going to see how can we configure a geographical location that is geolocation and how can we use that geolocation in our policy to restrict some countries or to allow some specific countries into our network. So let's log into the firewall. I'm going to show you this configuration via GUI and also via CLI, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, an address object of a country from the GUI and also create one or address object of a country through CLI. So for creating an uh, address object for geolocation, you need to go to policy and object addresses, create new and address. Now here you need to type the name of the country. So just for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use the name uh, the country China. Uh, no hard feelings for China and also for Japan because I'm going to create Japan through CLI. Both these countries are great. This is just specifically for the demonstration purpose. And the type, make sure you select geography. The country here, you can type China. Here we have, and you can click on OK. If you have multiple countries, so adding each country individually in a policy, it's quite hectic. So it's better to create a group uh, where we can add these countries and then we can reference that particular group in the policy. Uh, Japan is already created there. Let me just delete it first. Great. For creating the group, you can click on create new and address group and then you can uh, give a group name and then add the members, I mean the country which you want to add. But I want to do that from the CLI. For CLI, you can take the SSH access of this FortiGate firewall. Otherwise, you can just click on the console here and it will give you the console access and it will give you the CLI access of this FortiGate firewall. It's already in the root VDOM, right? So, config firewall address, right? So, we are creating a new address now. So, edit. I want to name as Japan, new entry Japan added. Now we want to set the type of this particular address as geography as we did in the GUI and then I want to set the country. Now there are codes of the country you can press question mark and you can see the country and the codes uh, which you want to use it in the configuration. So for Japan here it is JP Japan so we need to use JP okay and there are a lot of countries here so JP and to save this I'll type end okay now the country has been created let me show you that first let's refresh this and you can see the japan is here right now i'm going to add both of these countries to a group let me create the group again from the cli so config firewall address group okay i want to create a new group name um, block countries okay I want to set the members of this group as China and I have created Japan so enter great so now the group also has been created and China and Japan is the are the member of those group to save this I will type end and I will can close this and let me refresh the page here and you can see the group block countries with China and Japan including that here we are block countries China and Japan for oh, the spelling mistake really sorry for that so this is how also you can add through GUI okay as you can see the China and Japan the reference one one because they are now reference one time each in uh, block countries group now how can we use this group we can go to IPv4 policies so in IPv4 policies suppose you are creating um, you don't want these countries to access your network so what you can do is you can create a policy blocked countries okay incoming would be van because these are coming from your van interfaces and if you want you can select here whatever if you want to protect your LAN or you protect you want to protect your DMZ so let's for this example let's take LAN source would be now what is the source the source would be the these block countries which includes China and Japan destination would be all or your specific you can specify your LAN subnet 
schedule always services all action would be denied you want to deny any traffic coming from both of this country from internet to your land network okay you also want you can log the violation traffic here make sure the policy is enabled click on ok and make sure this policy if you have multiple policy from uh, van to land this policy should be on the top right this is how you configure a geo location you can also use this group from land to van policy as well so i hope you like this video i will see you in the next video until then thank you for watching